Hi, I'm John Van Hecke, Executive Director and Fellow here at Minnesota 2020, Minnesota's Progressive Public Policy Think Tank. And today, it's a great honor to be chatting with Dana Yost, who's written a new book, The Right Place, drawn from his observations, his experiences. Talk about the change in schooling in, in rural Minnesota, if you could, a little bit, what you've seen over the course of your life you know, both personally and professional. I graduated from Minneota High School in 1980. I had uh, 71 members in my class. Five years before that, it kind of at the height of the baby boom, they had 101 graduating members. Uh, my son graduated from nearby Lakeview in Cottonwood in 2006, about the same size as Minneota, 42 kids in his class. With this big drop off in enrollment, obviously the, the first impact is you lose per pupil funding. Every full-time student equivalent is equal to many thousands of dollars that goes to the school's bottom line. And most school districts in southwest Minnesota have approved and have in place operating levies, excess levy, levies above the uh, property tax. Uh, and some of them have gone to the max or close to that. So they, they're fully extended in terms of what they can offer financially. For many places, they are getting now to the point where the strain, the next step after the strain is the breaking point. Another asset that, you know, particularly a community like Marshall has, we see it very, very clearly, you know, is, is Southwest Minnesota State University. And, and the role that the Minnesota State College and University System plays in really anchoring our communities and providing the opportunities for development. You know, and, and you know, what would happen to Marshall if it went away? Marshall would lose probably 30%, 40% of its population. Not only does it educate and provide jobs, it's a place that uh, it's, it's begun to tailor some majors toward some of the, the larger employers. Um, there's a culinology major now and a food science major. Um, okay, help me out, culinology. Culino I, I had to be educated on that too, <laughs> but it, it's, it's, it's more than culinary. It, 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 it combines cooking skills with, uh, food you know, science? Yeah, with food science. So that um, in Marshall, the largest employer by far is the Swan Food Company. So you, you could conceivably get a job at their research and development and I think people lose sight of the fact that the Minsky mission isn't just educating young people who are 18 who are going off to school for the first time. It's to be that resource for continuing education and ongoing training over the course of people's lives. Because the one thing we know is we need school over our entire life, not just for brief moments. Very, very, very much. You know, so um, S SMSU uh, has a large non-traditional student population. I was one of those. I went back and got my degree. Um, they, have, they have a strong outreach and uh, continuing ed and, and customized education program uh, where like um, right. if, if an employer needs to have his uh, workers retrain on some computer software, they will set up a time to, uh, to, to, to train the entire workforce. Uh, so it's, it's very valuable that way. Danny Yost, thank you very much for joining us. For Minnesota 2020, I'm John Van Hecke.